What is up guys, Randomonium here. We're going to be watching Samsung Galaxy versus TSM. This is uh, Day 7, Group D. This is the first match of the day. And uh, we're going to be watching this at 1.5 times speed. And uh, this group is definitely the most exciting of all the groups. We've got... Three teams all at two is one, two and one, TSM, Samsung Galaxy, and RNG. Uh, Splice is in last place right now at 0 and 3. And basically what this comes down to is whichever teams go two and one are gonna get in. So um, very important game for both teams. It's e it's more important for Samsung Galaxy than it is for TSM, but it is still very important for TSM. The reasoning behind that is that TSM beat Samsung Galaxy in their first matchup. So if TSM wins, then it makes things a lot easier for them. Samsung Galaxy really can't uh, come back because they'll be 0 and 2 against TSM. But if Samsung Galaxy wins, TSM still can get out of group stages. Uh, the bands for Samsung Galaxy are going to be Lee Sin, Syndra, and Aurelian Soul. Syndra definitely makes sense. The Leeson definitely makes sense because of Sven Skarin. Aurelian Soul's a little bit weird, but um, he is he could be a pocket pick for Bjergsen. I don't think we've seen him play that, though. On the uh, Samsung Galaxy side, we've got Nidalee, Azira, and Rise. Yeah, I can definitely understand why they're, they're banning out the Rise against Crown and why they're banning out the Zyra against Core JJ. And the Nidalee against Ambition, so good bands. I don't mind that at all. Uh, Samsung Galaxy, their first pickup was the Jin. That's very interesting. They put such high priority on the Jin. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's that good of a choice personally, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. TSM blocks in the Karma and the Olaf. That's a very interesting uh, selection. I don't think I've seen Olaf go that high in the draft before. Usually he's like a a counter pick at the end um because olaf you know if you give him a chance if you show him too early in the draft phase he can be counter picked pretty easily samson galaxy picks up rexai and victor okay that makes perfectly sense victor great wave clear just all all around i think one of the most underrated champs in the lcs and rexai is incredibly good uh tsm goes for the lucian and the kennen um Makes sense. Actually, okay, so the reason why Samsung Galaxy might have went for um, the Jin so soon is because they wanted to take it away from Doublelift, because Doublelift played it like every single game in the first week. So that might be the reason behind why they prioritize the Jin so highly on Samsung Galaxy side. Kennen's definitely an incredibly solid pick. And then the last pick for TSM turned out to be the Zillion. So that's actually a really good team comp. I actually really like that team comp. You got multiple speed ups for the Olaf. So this is kind of a uh, <laughs> an Olaf rampage comp. And then the last picks for uh, Samsung Galaxy were the Tom Kench for support and the Rumble for top lane. So both teams are very very balanced. It's really actually they're. It's Sven Skarin. Like it comes down to whether or not Sven Skarin can get ahead. If Sven Skarin gets ahead, then there's not much of anything that um, Samsung Galaxy can really do against it. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking to see if uh, Sven Skarin is as impactful in this game as he was last week, because he was absolutely on fire in the first couple games that TSM had. As far as the rest of the lane matchups, uh, Rumble versus Kennen. So advantage is uh, Rumble can outpush the Kennen. Disadvantage is that the Kennen can outpoke the Rumble. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a skill matchup. We already talked about how Olaf is going to be so pivotal in this matchup. Uh, I think that he definitely has the advantage over the Rek'Sai. And then mid lane, Victor versus Zillion. I think this is just going to be a farm fest in mid lane. They're just going to both just clear waves over and over and over again and wait for their junglers to show up. 
So I don't see much action happening in mid lane until the jungle shows. And then bot lane, Jin, uh, Tom Kench versus Lucian Karma. Lucian Karma is a really scary lane. Lucian is just really powerful. Karma's got a ton of damage. She's got her root. She's got her shield. Um, I think that bot lane, they could really punish the Jin early on until he gets hits like level 6. Once he hits level 6, what Jin can do is he trades with you, he backs off, and then he uses his ult to finish you off. Um, and that combined with the fact that Tom Kench can devour the Jin if the Lucian tries to use his ultimate, uh, makes it a little bit difficult for um, TSM once they hit level 6. Wow, Crown's doing a really good job right now. It's a very interesting pathing from Spence Garen. He um, goes for topside and then he circled back around and now he's going to try and invade uh, to try and steal the blue buff. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Yep. I mean, he knew he got spotted out. So, uh-oh, this could be a dive right now. One for one, okay, that that's fine. The one for one will take that. Um, yeah, but definitely a a little bit too ambitious by the Olaf. He should have been looking at where the lane was for top lane and realized that his top lane was getting pushed in and therefore uh, Kennen could not rotate fast enough to help him and he was going to wind up being in a 2v1. Brown gets a solo kill, that's never good. That's never good. At least he forced him to burn his flash, but um, that's really bad for TSM. They're not looking very good right now. So TSM really just needs to survive this laning phase and not fall too far behind. And then once they hit, you know, level six, uh, they want to be looking for, you know, rotations, getting people out of position, and then using that Olaf with multiple speed ups and also even the um, the Zillion ultimate to have him stay alive. And he could just pretty much just run to the back line and disrupt the back line a ton. Equalizer? That's kind of a weight to equalizer. I don't like that at all. <clears throat> Rek'Sai is going to donate this blue buff over to Crown, and that's going to make the lane even harder on Bjergsen. Yeah, this is not going well at all. They need to create a play. Probably in bot lane is their best choice. <sighs> Samsung Galaxy is doing a really good job at tracking um, Sven Skaren's movements.
at least double lip has a pretty sizable advantage in bot lane and uh, both mid lane and top lane aren't falling too far behind in CS. That was a great ultimate. Yeah, that was a great calling by uh by double lift. And now they actually could set up a dive, but unfortunately since Garen's on the uh, wrong side of the map. Here's some really interesting equalizers from uh, Cuve. Up, oh, going for the ult. Shield it. Well played. Really well played. So it looks like they're going to have to rely on double if to carry them this game. He's the only, he's the only one who's uh, doing well in lane. That's exactly what TSM needed, and now they can get first turret. Oh, that's so good. That is so needed. They had such a bad early game, and they they were able to turn that around. And that goes all to double lift. 650 gold all to double lift. They got the exhaust. Great job by uh, Biofrost. Mm, I think that actually Haunter might be able to get this. Oh, nope, but uh, Ambition comes in to finish it off. They should be able to go for Dragon, though, now. They know that Rek'Sai is in top lane, so they can invade... And then go for Drake. Even though it's only a, a Cloud Drake. Erickson got caught. That was a huge mistake by B. Erickson. He should have just walked in the tower range. Okay, so multiple mistakes from both teams. Oh, this is really smart. Oh no, he moved! Why would you move with a Rek'Sai on the enemy team? Okay. Wow, Kuve is being so aggressive on this rumble. Hmm. <laughs> So if I was Sven Skarin, I would be trying to play around my bot lane. I'd be trying to set up a dragon play right now. Because it's so important that, that Sven Skarin gets a lot of gold so he can actually charge into that back line and not get instantaneously deleted. Because unfortunately, uh, Lucian will fall off. No, that's really good. Well played. Really well played by TSM. Great rotation. I'm actually surprised that they're not going for the top tower.
Yeah, these these rumble ultimates, I don't I don't understand them. Like they're not they're not a, they're just a little bit off, just just a tad bit off. So they're trying to secure Drake, so that way there's not an objective on bot side. You get Drake, then you rotate your uh, fed Lucian either to mid lane or to top lane. And then you get pick up that tower. Wow, they're really trying to play around this uh, this rumble top lane. All right, he sees it. <clears throat> so right now Galaxy's just kind of stalling out the game a little bit. There we go. Now TSM's starting to be more proactive. Good job. And now you go for Drake, then you rotate your uh, bot lane to top lane, and you take top lane tower. You see Cannon try to push out one more wave, go to top lane. Yep, exactly. Perfect. Okay, so TSM's going to top lane now. Now you send Hanser to bot lane. Wow, well done. They might lose this tower. They should be able to get this tower. And you allow uh, Haunter to pick up a really, really huge wave, which allows him to kind of accelerate uh, his gold lead a little bit, because he was having quite a bit of trouble with Kuve. So this is actually really smart. So they're not taking the tower, but they're forcing Samsung Galaxy to not be able to farm the wave. So they're missing out on all that gold, all that experience. Um, just because they're so worried about the dive from TSM. Hmm. Yeah, I'd need to push this top lane. And get the tower before the next dragon spawns. There we go. This is great. Push it out. Back out. No reason to fight. Good teleport coming in from... Uh, Good job. All right. Get the revive. Good use of the teleport by Bjergsen. So the counterplay to this is that uh, Samsung Galaxy... Oh, wow. 
Yeah, Samsung Galaxy, great rotation. This is exactly what they should do, is you just go mid lane because you know that um, the TSM wants to try and reset. Wow, are they actually pinging the Baron? That is really risky. This is an incredibly risky play. Hmm. You can't walk that way. That's been scaring. You gotta walk the long way around. Yeah, that's just a straight up mistake from Svenskaren. <clears throat> yep. Multiple mistakes from TSM there, and it pretty much. Um, Gives their gold lead away, so now it's an even fight, and uh, Samsung Galaxy has a Baron. And also, they're going to get the Mountain Drake. So yeah, that one mistake, that just shows you, one mistake. They were in control of the game, and they made, you know, one major mistake, and now they're behind. Interesting culling onto the Tom Kench. Yeah, rotation in the mid lane. Very good job by Samsung Galaxy. They should be able to get this tower. And also they're going to get the top tower as well. Now they're about 2,000 gold down. And now they're starting to lose at the bot tower. So TSM just doesn't... They're just running around like chickens with their heads cut off. They just don't know where to go, what to do. Oh, good revive. Really good job by, um, by Bjergsen to save him. Ooh, come on. Come on, double lift. And they give up another tower because of that. That's a huge gold swing. God damn it. That's a 3,000 gold swing. And they actually, they were up a couple thousand gold too. So that's like a 6,000 gold swing. <sighs> All right, so TSM to get back into this game, they got to get a pick. They got to get a pick, then they got to get multiple towers off of that pick. And uh, yeah, hopefully get a Baron. If you look at their vision, they just don't have that much vision. Crown is doing so much work on this, Victor. It's really impressive. Hmm. 
Yeah, this Victor's starting to turn into a real problem. I actually um double if might actually want to pick up some magic resist, either like a QSS or a hex drinker. Because that rumble, both the rumble and the victor, if they land like one spell on double if, then he's going to be like half health. That was actually a really fantastic equalizer. But I think the TSM can actually turn this. Oh, no. And they're going to lose the Baron off of that. It stopped the the Baron, but this is just a, a kind of a really sloppy game so far. And they have no vision. TSM is making the right call in the, that, that they're trying to push down mid lane. And they've got bot lane pushing really, really strong right now. So as long as they can just delay, they can probably get uh, bot tower will just die to the minions. Okay, now TSM can get into the Baron pit, clear out the vision. They probably won't be able to start the Baron, but they can at least clear out the vision. So now the bot lane is pushing against TSM, so TSM has to make a move within about a minute. Or they're going to start uh, having minions crash into their bot lane tower. TSM needs to do something. And they need to stop freaking moving when they're out of vision. Like they're 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 moving back and forth, which is showing the Rek'Sai exactly where they are. If they stopped moving, then that bait would work so much better. And because now they're doing the reset, um yeah, Samsung Galaxy will probably get Dragon. They have to send uh Haunter to bot lane. And now Samsung Galaxy can regain um, control around the Baron Pit. And it's very dangerous for TSM to face check into Galaxy right now. Yeah, this is just a huge uh, wave clear battle in mid lane and also a vision control battle. Hmm.
Rek'Sai's caught out. Crown's caught out. So they need to start making a play right now. Samsung Galaxy pushes them off. Great Rumble ult. Even better Kennen ult. Oh my god. Yes. What the hell are you doing, double lift? What are you doing, double lift? Oh my god, they played that so well, and then they they give away. They could have gone barren if if double lift didn't die there. Finally, he's got some freaking magic resist. Hopefully, he won't get one shot again. Hmm. Yeah, this game is on the edge of a knife right now. It it really comes down to Galaxy's Victor and uh, TSM's Lucian. Whichever one of those two dies first, the other team or the other team wins. All right, so Galaxy now has mid-priority. They can possibly get a mid-tower off of this. Why is Svenskeren there? <laughs> yeah, that happened so fast that I didn't even see it. It just was like the cannon was gone. One for one. God damn it. That's a really aggressive teleport by Kuve. That might be the game. Yeah, that might be enough time for Double Lift to get up. Oh my goodness. Well done. Okay. <sighs> Need to reset and push out the waves now. This is like one team fight. Like I don't really know what Spence Garen was doing. He just walked like right through the gravity field, didn't pop his ultimate, and got his GA popped.
Kill Ambition. Oh, wow, and a great Tom Kench ultimate. That's a game. Shit. Oh, man. Okay. That looked really sloppy. That looked really sloppy, that whole game. It, it's not the worst case scenario for TSM because it, as long as they still win the next two games, they're fine. But they really needed to... Uh, if they won that one, they would have taken Samsung Galaxy kind of out of the fight. That was really like a must-win for Samsung Galaxy. So now the pressure's really on TSM to beat uh, RNG. They have to beat RNG and they have to beat Splice. If they lose either of those two matches, then... They're in, they're in serious, serious trouble. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on the channel, please subscribe. And if you want to see more of these videos, leave a comment. Or if you want me to review one of your own videos, leave a comment. I hope you all have a great day. This is Ranmonium, signing off.